Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Teeks, or you can call me Takara. It is whichever one that you would prefer to call me. I hope my teacups are doing swell. If you are, give this video a thumbs up. Do you see anything? See anything new? Nothing? I'm wearing a shirt that uh, <laughs> I made. I'm super excited about today's video because in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a basic t-shirt using this simplicity pattern 1062 that you guys have been hearing me talk about for the last past videos. And if you have not seen those past videos, Go ahead and catch up with the rest of the sewing crew. Once you're done, then meet us back here so that you can start sewing your own basic t-shirt. This is how the shirt came out and I'm super, super proud of it. I made a few small mistakes, like I have like a little Kanye West hole up here, but it's not really too bad. Yeah. And the only thing that I didn't like about this shirt was that I have to wear like a, um, a strapless bra because the because those shirt is so wide out, my straps show when I um, put a regular bra on. So. And it looks like what's on the model on my sewing pattern. The only difference was because I feel like the fabric choice that I chose is just super, super, super basic. Like I'm saying like basic where it's something I see like me cleaning the house in and not actually going outdoors in unless I actually dress it up with like some jewelry that's how basic it was it just needs some some spunk and I feel like I might end up adding something to flare this shirt up I don't know that's just me if you guys want to see a video on it definitely comment down in the comments below but in this video we are working with stretch jersey knit and I know a lot of people say hey as a beginner don't start with that start with cotton but I wanted to start you guys off on this because, I mean, practice makes perfect. You're going to eventually have to go to stretch jersey knit. So I don't want to make this intro too long. So without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. Let's go. Starting with materials, you need your pattern that we cut out in the last bit video. We're using this gray jersey knit fabric. You're going to want a measuring tape, some pins, fabric scissors, matching thread, and bobbin thread a seam gauge, a seam ripper, and filled bobbin with your matching thread as well. You're also going to want a universal or ballpoint needle for your sewing machine since we're sewing with knits. We're going to start off by unfolding pattern one, which is the front and sleeve. Take out your pins, lay this pattern with the right side facing down, then take pattern two, which is the back and sleeve, and unfold it. Then you're just going to want to place the right sides of both patterns together and line them up. Use your notches to help you line up the pieces. I made a mistake and pinned and sewed my armholes together. So don't make my same mistake. Make sure your armholes are not pinned down. So ignoring my mistake, continue to pin down the sides, do this to the left and right side of your shirt, then go ahead and thread your machine and take some scrap fabric to test the zigzag length, the width and tension that you're going to use on this project. Then you're just going to sew where you pin. Make sure you line up your edge at the 5 8 mark on your machine. Sew a few inches forward, then backstitch. 
and continue until both the left and right sides of your shirt is sewn together. Make sure to also backstitch at the end. During this process, you also want to make sure to press your seams on your shirt just to remove any puckers. Okay, so now on to your neckband. This is pattern three. I'm going to press the neckband until it's nice and flat. And with the right sides together, I'm pinning the center back seam of the neckband, matching up the notches. I stitched that together and then I pressed my seam and I went ahead and folded the band in half lengthwise and the wrong sides are together this time. I matched up the cut edges, centers and notches and the small dots. I pinned it and then I pressed it and I got ready to go ahead and place my band on the shirt. Now I'm placing the neckband on the outside and pinning it to the neck of the shirt's edge. I start by placing the small dots on the shoulder seams to guide me. Then I continued matching the cut edges, centers, and notches. Understand that your neckband will be smaller than the neck of the shirt and that's where stretching will come in when you're sewing. Once you have it pinned, go ahead and place your edge at the 3 eighths mark and sew. This time I made sure I had a width of 2.5 and a length of 2.5 before sewing with my zigzag stitch. Go slow and stretch as you sew the band so it fits the neck edge. I messed up the first time and had to go back and fix my mistake. But now you're going to stitch again one fourth from the first stitch line within the seam allowance. And this is basically just creating a double stitch on the outside of your t-shirt, which looks really, really nice. Once you're done with that, on the outside of your t-shirt, you want to carefully top stitch the top close to the neckline seam. And I just like to press everything to keep it nice, clean, and flat. Moving on to our seam hem, turn the sleeve in and take your seam gauge and make sure you have a hem of 1 4th. Then stitch your hem in a circle. It's super easy if you keep the right side of the sleeve against the machine and the inside facing you with the needle in the inside of the circle while you're sewing. And you can just keep your seam gauge close by if you need it. Just gonna wanna do this to both sleeves. And then on both sleeves, I'm also going back and stitching again one fourth six millimeters away from the first stitch within the seam allowance to get that double stitching look then turn the sleeve and the top wrong side out and press your seams so we're almost done we have one last hem and that's for the bottom of the top turn the hem in and stitch close to the raw edge
and then again one fourth below the first stitching line doing that double effect and voila you're done you now have an awesome everyday basic t-shirt guys think was it easy was it hard yeah yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i am so proud of this little creation that i made this little basic t-shirt and i can't wait to make more things in the future I'll also be doing other diys and maybe like do some type of videos where i recreate different things that i get from the thrift store um maybe some other type of really cool series here on my channel so definitely don't forget to click that subscribe button that way it will keep you updated when all of those types of videos drop down here on this channel if you decide to make this t-shirt don't forget to tag me in it on one of my social networks using the hashtag sewing series so that i can see your guys this super cool creation so that is it for the video i love you guys and i will see you guys in the next video peace <laughs> Come on, party, let's go party.